Hey YouTube, today we're going to be looking at a couple Ruger 22 target pistols and before we get started I'm going to let you know neither one of these pistols have anything in them and we are clear to make this video. So what we have here is a Ruger Mark 1 on top, this one's my pistol, and a Ruger Mark 3 on the bottom that I am borrowing from somebody so I can do this comparison and show you the differences in them. I picked the Mark 3 because I think they made the most significant changes from um, the original design, the, this one, they made a lot of significant changes and I'm gonna go through those here. So I'm gonna, re, I'm gonna show you real quick what each one of them are. I'm gonna pick this one up and show you that it's not loaded. And this is a Ruger Mark I and these came out in 1949. So this was a meant to be a very inexpensive target pistol and you can get them in a couple different configurations but this one here happens to be the target model with the big old bull barrel on it and the really really good adjustable sights and everything if you look at this sight picture. Um, this was, believe it or not, Bill Ruger's design, and this was Ruger's very first offering, very first pistol they ever came out with, and this is what got them on the map and got them started as a company. So, the one thing Bill Ruger brought to the gun world <laughs> is this pistol, because they still use these things very much so to this day, but this is the original design. It went unchanged until sometime in the 70s. They came out with a Mark II, and there are very, very minor changes in the Mark II, but this one that I'm about to show you is when all the changing really started. So this is the original one. This is a Mark I. I believe this one was made sometime in the 70s. I believe this was one of the last um, ones of the Mark I before they changed over to the Mark II. I've always loved these Mark Ones, the one with the bull barrel. This is the second one I've owned. I've had this thing for years. Um, the original one I had, I had let go at a trade many, many, many years ago. That's the only way some guy would do whatever deal it was I was trying to do, and I've regretted it ever since I got ever since I did it until I got this one. But I've had this one a long time, and I don't ever plan on letting it go. But just giving you some close-ups of it. It's a Ruger Mark I, and we will compare it to this Mark III here in a second. So the next one we have here, let me show you that it's not loaded, is a Ruger Mark III. So I am borrowing this one. This one's not mine. And this is a Mark III. This is when they first started making some of the significant changes to this design. Now it's still basically the same design pistol. It's a um, bull barrel target pistol, got adjustable sights and all that, but what we're gonna do is we're gonna show you some of the changes that they made for between the Mark I, the original design, and this one. I believe this gun came out around 2004, and I think they stopped making it in 2016. I believe that's what I read on there. Could be wrong on the dates because I'm not a historian, but we'll go into it. So. We'll start with the Ruger Mark I. If you'll look at it, it's got adjustable sights on it. It's got a bolt that pulls back on it. And very heavy barrel, very high mount front sight in the front. Now, the big difference on this one is the bolt, or I'm sorry, the magazine release. It's a heel release on the bottom. You click this heel over and it pulls these magazines out. So that's the first difference in them. Second one you're going to notice is on the last shot, see with the magazine inserted in this, the bolt does not hold open. It will not hold open. Now you can get this bolt to hold open if you put the safety on. If you pull this bolt out, put the safety on, it'll hold out. But other than that, when you're firing this gun on the last shot, it will not fire. You know, I mean, it will not hold it open. Now, one of the other differences is when you pull this magazine out and pull this back the gun will still operate with the magazine out so it doesn't have a magazine disconnect in it or anything like that so very very cool gun though but pretty pretty basic you know they it wasn't a very modern gun they really don't need to modernize this too much this is i've mentioned it before this is probably the most accurate handgun i have in my safe this one here is now let's get to the more modern one here and we'll start looking at some of the changes on here. This one doesn't have anything in it, so we'll let you know. 
So first change that we're going to look at is it has a magazine loaded indicator right here on the side. Put that right on the side of the thing let you know that the chamber is um, loaded. Second um, thing I'm going to notice is this thing has a crown barrel. It has a countersunk crown barrel on it. If you look at it next to the Mark 1, the Mark 1 does not. So that's a big difference. The next one we have is it has a fiber optic front side on it. So, so you can pick up with old eyes like mine. If you look real here, you can really pick up that red. Uh, the Mark 1, it's just got a blade side that's in black. So one of the other differences I notice is this is a Bill Ruger thing, I believe. Good old Bill Ruger. Um, this, the old Mark One's got the billboard on the side of it. Tells you all about all the warnings and how to read the instruction manual. Well, this is one of the things I like about the newer one better. The Smart Three, it doesn't have all that stuff written on the side of the barrel. So that's kind of cool. Really like that. Now here's where we start getting into the big differences. So with the Mark Three, on the last shot, it will hold the bolt open, and it does have a um, uh, bolt release right up here on top, kind of like um, traditional traditional semi-automatic weapons. It has this little bolt release right up here on top. So on the last shot, it will it will hang the bolt open. On the Mark One, that is not the case. It doesn't have a bolt catch up here on top and even with the magazine inserted it will not stay open so on the last shot it's not going to hang the bolt open but this one it will it's a big difference here so one of the other differences is on the top of the mark three it is drilled and tapped for a scope mount so a lot of people put scopes on these i'm not going to be ever be that guy to put a scope on a 22 <laughs> gun but it is drilled and tapped for the scope and Mark one is not. Back then, people had sense and they didn't put scopes on handguns. So, <laughs> as you can see, um, no scope belt. So, one of the other things is it's got very almost identical kind of adjustable sights on the back. So, both of them have adjustable sights because they are target guns. Next thing we're going to look at is these, this bolt here. So on the Mark One, this is a straight serrated um, extension to pull the bolt back. And on the Mark Three, it's going to be kind of a tapered one if you look. So we're going to try and get these to go side by side and show you the differences. If I can get it to focus, one of them's tapered and one of them's straight on this little bolt catch right here. So. That's a uh, big difference. One of the other differences is in this and these guns is yeah, I can't even figure out what I'm doing here. So when you cock this thing and there's no magazine in it, the gun will not function anymore. There's a magazine disconnect in it. And it makes the gun not function without the magazine in it. When you slide it back in, it will work. So when you take the older Mark One, which is a heel release, maybe you're telling me that it will still function with the magazine out of it. So that's a difference on it. So another bit difference is the magazine release on the Mark I is a heel release. So here on the bottom, you just release it right here. And on the Mark III, it has a more conventional button right behind the trigger guard to release the magazine. So that's going to be what um, the majority of the people are used to is this button here on the side. This is more old school for um, folks who like older guns and stuff like that. This is a, a heel release. A lot of the older guns, you know, like even Six Hour and stuff like that, had a heel release on them, some of the original ones. But this is more conventional on it. But that's some of the differences in it. It's just more modern. It has this, you know, this mech, this um, chamber indicator and the scope mount and stuff like that but it's basically the same gun it's just made a little bit more modern they make things a little bit more convenient these tapered things actually feel a little bit better when you're pulling on them and the magazine disconnect can be kind of a pain sometimes folks but i don't really like them but i get it i mean it's a safety thing nobody wants to get sued or anything like that the safeties work exactly the same on um on both of them they just have a little thumb safety here on the side of them the um 
basically it's the same gun it's just they made a couple little modern changes on them now one thing to note is when you pull the magazines out of these things i'm going to do this here um right here on camera and show these the magazines do not interchange folks they look very similar the floor plates look very similar but if you look it's got this magazine catch on the mark three one that allows the magazine to stay open on the last shot and the um the Mark I does not have it. So Mark I and Mark IIs do not have um, that little thing. Now, I believe the Mark II does have a magazine catch on some of the magazines, but this magazine will work in a Mark II. This one absolutely will not work in a Mark I or Mark II. You cannot get them in there. It'll get stuck in there, and it becomes a pain. So that's one of the differences in them. Um, other than that, folks, it's all the same. I think the grips and stuff will interchange maybe maybe um this has to have this little cut out for this but basically it's the same bolt pattern and everything and same profile the guns are exactly the same but there's some of the differences in them it just makes an old design a little bit more modern and they do a little bit of improvements i think with the mark IV they get a little bit more in depth and they start getting some crazy designs with that but these are the more um you know standard looking ruger target pistol so this thing started off as the ruger standard and then it became they changed it to the mark one is what they call it it wasn't a design change they just changed the name of it mark two made the minor change with the magazine bolt hold open and then mark three is when they really started changing a lot of stuff on them then the mark four I, I think it looks like almost a completely different gun some of them but anyway folks i want to go through some of these differences and a mark one and a mark three if you look at them with the naked eye side by side there's virtually no difference but when you really take a closer look you can see that modern technology has caught up with even the ruger mark one so anyway folks you have any questions on either one of these feel free to ask i'm not a ruger pistol expert but i'll be happy to answer for you thank you very much for watching my video today you folks have a great day